All right, so let's go here on the next video, go through the next video. Let me show you a couple things that we've done. So this is the home page. Now, I don't have any content from the customers, but what I would definitely want to do is at least begin to set it up a little bit and kind of give them a feel for what it will ultimately look like with their content in there. Uh, so a couple things for you here. This is uh, the first image I added. And then I just click this button here because within the settings, if you click edit this image, uh, you'll see that within the settings, let's see if we can move this over. Uh, I already took the time to decide that there's no CSS. Uh, there's, it's going to be a full image. It's going to be centered. And, you know, I just kind of went through and decided all these things where it was going to link. But I don't know for sure where it's going to link. Um, and then I would made all those settings. So I just, once I've created those settings, I just decided to copy it. So I copy it here, copy it here, and copy it here. And then, of course, uh, in there, on each one, I just loaded in a new picture. Now, the other thing that I think this site could use, particularly in this little section right here, is a little bit of space. So if you hover over this section right here, you can add a new element. So what will pop up is obviously all of the different elements. I'm looking for the gap element. When I click on the gap element, it's going to pop up and give me eh, 10 pixels is probably enough. Uh, I could change that to whatever I want. Okay. Uh, for the moment, I'll stick with 10. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to save those 10 uh, pixels. Now that gap is going to show up uh, down here. So what I would recommend doing is the reason I did that is because I want to put it right in between these two. And then, again, use the copy tool to copy it to the next one. And let's see what that does for the site and for the pages. It maybe it puts a little bit of gap there. Let's go take a peek. All right, so we're back on the front page here and we're taking a peek. Peeky peek peek peek. Okay, cool. So here you can see um this is the front page. There's the image, the image, the image. There's the content and there's a little bit of gap in there. Now this little gap that's in there, you can see if there's no gap, this is what it looks like here. So you definitely want to use the gap tool. Um, that's probably enough right there. Uh, but we need to put the gap tool here so it, it gaps between the content and the pictures. And actually, this little section right here, as you can see, it's not broken right here. So this actually goes all the way across the full page. So that's by itself, that's its own paragraph uh, or section. And then you can see that without this section here, without the gap, that's the difference. So I like the 10. That's just me personally. Now the customer might say, hey, there's a lot of white space in here. Well, cool, we can get rid of that. But here there's no white space. Definitely we need to break that up a little bit. All right. So click here on the edit page section. And then let's go in and take a closer look at the inside. Okay, so here we go. All right, so there's our gap. Um, that's that section I said goes all the way across. So what we want to do is uh, let's 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 double this up. Let's take another gap and let's put it in between here. And then let's double this, copy it, and put it here. So now we have some space in between the two. Um, then I think we also that puts some gap in between the paragraphs at the top and then the paragraph here in the middle and then one here at the top. However, uh, I do think that we should add a little gap here and just use these to create space. And we'll do that all the way across and just copy them. Once you create them, copy them. Okay. All right. So that's what that will look like. And then we'll update and go back and take a look at the front page. Now, there are other things that we could do. Um, I could also put in uh, let me show you one of the other things like you may want to draw a line in between these these two here so let's go look at the composer and add uh, like a divider or something let's see where they might have a divider so here is a separator okay there's a separator there's a couple things we could put in there but what will make the most sense we have the gap we have the divider here's our divider all right, so or we could put in a title. You could play around with it and see which one looks best to you. Uh, I'm going to go with the divider for a moment. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, this is like the most forgiving software. So if for some reason um, you add something that doesn't look good, uh, then you can always click on the delete button or click on the trash button and get rid of it. 
All right, so let's take this and I'm going to scroll up here and let's put this right in between probably, I say let's put it up at the top. But it's not going to go between the gap. It's going to, yeah, we definitely want that gap in between the top paragraph and then the divider. And then we probably want between the divider another gap. You know, and maybe it's not as big. Maybe it's not a 10. Maybe the gap is a little smaller. But that's what I would do. And then between the bottom ones, you might want to copy the divider and clone it. And then slide this down so it's between here. Now, is that going to be too much? There's only one way to find out, and that's to go back and take a look at, uh, at the front page. So I'm just looking here. Now, uh, this divider here that you see thick or thin you might want to make the other one a little bit thinner so one is thick and just to see what they look like we know we have the thick one and then we have the the thin one so let's go with thin and save that okay and then let's go back and take a look at the front page All right, now we're back at the front page. Let me just show you what I did, and then I'll show you how I did it. Um, basically, I put in a title. You'll also see a little bit of an overlap here uh, to sort of close out some of the white space. And uh, you'll also notice that there are titles now above the images. Now, again, I have no idea if the client's going to like it, love it, hate it, start over. This is perfect. I had no idea you knew exactly what I, I don't even know, right? But that we just start by, by doing something to give them something. Now, if they have a lot of content for these sections, then we probably, um, we, we probably will need to create little read more buttons in here. And so right here would be a read more. And I'm going to put those buttons in so they can see that anyway. Because um, the goal is while they're looking at it and discussing it as a team, we want them to be able to say, oh, so this is, uh, yeah, that's where this image will go and help them to imagine what to do next, right? And then these are blank. So there's a little divider in there. Uh, our services. Let me take you through and show you how I did this. So just 
just simply click up at the top, click on Edit Page, and then I'll take you through and show you what I did with the Visual Composer to create this. So as the Composer opens up, you're going to find that your gaps here, these gap heights and gap setups, they're going to become your lifeline. Uh, and I say lifeline because they're going to put the space in there uh, and or remove or make more or less space for you. And uh, you're going to find yourself copying those a lot. So here is the hour services that you see at the top. Basically, it's a separator with, with text. And then we have gaps and gaps in here. I had to also add um, another column. So you could click here and add you know, another column. And this is a single column by itself. Then, of course, as you know, I have portfolio management, consulting, and planning. These are three separate sections here. Now, here's what's important. Uh, the gap section again, the divider, and then, of course, uh, I had to put in some more gaps to create some space in here. But what I did was uh, I made sure that th those separators, those text separators, went 100% across the page. Uh, because when, if you if you make them like 50% or 75%, sometimes they'll stagger. They'll stop a little short on one side, stop a little short on the other side. That's just the nature of the software. So uh, what you want to do is take that from 70% to 100%. Now, what the heck is Gene talking about? Well, up here in this section, when I created this services, um, you'll notice that this section only goes 70% across uh, the the top. Now I did that for effect for one reason and one reason only. When we go back and we look at it you'll see uh, here that this section was designed to sort of draw them in. So here's the image. We'll talk about this overlap in a moment. Here's our services and then it only goes 70 percent across. And I think I could have done 50 or 30 but then I wanted to say you know our services but these go a hundred percent across the section okay of that specific section so um, that's the reason I did 70 percent up here but a hundred percent here okay now let's take a look at this overlap here real simple to do back to edit page down here in this section okay uh, underneath here it asks would you like overlapping now without the overlapping I don't know if you could see this little mountain here and then there's like these little mountains here um, what happens is it, if you if you go transparent it'll be even closer uh, but the overlap allowed me to remove some of the white space that was between the slider and the image here so uh, and and of course the our services section so I could I had it set to normal but I decided to overlap it a little bit uh, to overlap that section okay to bring them a little bit closer so when we go back and we look at the page that's how I was able to get that overlap section so let's take a look at that and there we go that's that overlap we don't want to overlap it much more okay or make it transparent alright so so far so good so basically um, the other thing that I did is in the contact section uh, there are a couple things you can use I used and I like to use uh, ninja forms however this theme has a really good contact form one of the better contact forms one of the most annoying things about the contact forms that you get that are built into most themes you'll see this is ninja form uh, short uh, short code but most of the contact form uh, themes uh, contact forms that are built in they don't ask for the telephone number they just ask for the name the email address and a message and most people want to be able to call someone so uh, I don't know why they all do that but in any event I like ninja forms for that reason because here in ninja forms on the contact page uh, you can do a couple things and one is uh, you can go in and select uh, the different click here on edit click here on edit and you can go through and click on f uh, field settings and you can decide which uh, one of these will go in so if you want you can say uh, let's add one for phone number which is located right here and then what we'll do that's the phone number it's that simple uh, and then let's move the phone number up so we get their name their email address and then when we save it and go back and look at the contact page 
you'll see that it's asking for a telephone number okay so I'll come back on the next video once they send me the content and show you how we start to enter the content or make changes if they need them